Hi guys, it's Przemek here and welcome to the next episode of uh, Sneak Peek into MetaGrid version 2. Today I'm going to talk about the visual aspects of MetaGrid version 2. Um, MetaGrid version 1 doesn't look bad, quite on the contrary, uh, in fact. But we want to go a bit further and um, we, want, we introduce several features that will enable MetaGrid to integrate uh, with your visual environment uh, in a better, more cohesive way. That's why we introduced the skinning options and also added some visual related, uh, graphic related uh, um, objects to uh, the buttons. So let's dive in. I'm going to show you some cool functionalities. Um, here is the, um, the grid that I have imported from MetaGrid version 1 for my Xcode. Um, it looks familiar, right? Familiar icons, familiar colors. Um, now, um, as I said, we, we want to go a bit further and we've uh, introduced the skinning possibilities uh, working on the grid level. So we're creating a new grid. Let me show it to you. I'm going to the uh, grid uh, selector. When I add a grid, tapping the plus uh, sign, uh, now I've got 11 skins or 11 color schemes to choose from. Uh, when I select it, the whole grid, uh, the buttons that are going to be created, um, got the predefined color for the skin. Also, oh, let me dismiss it. Uh, this color scheme will also affect uh, other, me other meta grid or um, visual objects like buttons and uh, the text. So, um, let me close the um, edit mode and um, I go to the scene number two. And uh, this is the same grid, but uh, with the blue color scheme assigned. So I've changed the colors for the buttons, but as you can see, the meta grid interface changed uh, uh, the tint to blue as well. When I go to option three, it's the same grid again but uh, with the red skin, uh, with a red uh, color scheme. And four and uh, five. That's nice. Uh, that's matrix green, basically. We've implemented the new color selector. Uh, so uh, with uh, very nice colors, when you see very useful ones, you will be able to create some uh, great uh, looking uh, grids. Let's have a look at this grid. So it's the same grid, but we with uh, some modifications like uh, changing uh, object sizes and uh, colors are mixed and so on and so on. Um, over there in the uh, bottom uh, right corner, you can see a, uh, an object that we call the background image. When I go into it to edit, uh, there is the special um, option called background image and you are, you'll be able to add an additional object apart from text or icon and you'll be able to uh, um, shape it, I mean not shape it, but to uh, style it uh, with a different color. So for example, I'm going to change it to something else like this dotted uh, shape or to even more interesting like that and uh, I'm able to select a dedicated color for that all right uh, something like that and uh, it is uh, the object that is a kind of a will enable you to create some high-tech user interfaces like that that's my experiment with the background objects and uh, looks cool if you're especially if you're a gamer uh, it will enable you to create some uh, high-tech looking user interfaces